I'm sorry if I might have a lisp while talking. Right now I have an expander in my mouth and it's fucking expanding my fucking top jaw. But anyways, um, I feel like this really needs, needs to be addressed by many people. And this is an actual problem for women and females. Or just like girls in general because... This is honestly not right, and this actually happened to me before when I was in around the 6th grade, at least about to graduate, I'm pretty sure. It was pretty late in the year, or mid-year, but when I was in 6th grade, I had this male history teacher. You might see where this is going. (laughs) Um, This male teacher started by like sitting us down trying to get us used to the whole seeing chart in the beginning of the year and he changed the seeing chart where I was sitting right next to his desk in like this little table where I was basically isolated because I had nobody else around me so I sat in that chair and at that time I often wore skirts like that was the only thing i would wear to school skirts the uniform shirt and then like socks underneath or sometimes even medley ass aka like leggings kind of i don't know and um so that's what i would wear all the time and this teacher while he would be teaching the class he would find any excuse like when i rose my hand for help he would find any excuse to walk up behind me and touch my shoulders which was it seemed normal at first until he kind of like started like rubbing my back touching my hair ew it was gross because they started getting a bit intimate for him like he was getting really handsy not only that, since I was pretty good at history at the time, and I still am actually, I'm a bit of a nerd in history, um, I would get picked on a lot, but, and kids would call me teacher's pet because I, like, because they saw how, like, close I seemed to the teacher when I was really not, I, this was all happening without my consent, not only that, I was a kid, bro. I was a child. And you expect me to comprehend that? Anyways. So, this guy would just be really weird towards me. Try to get a peek under my skirt. Blech. And I kind of, like, kind of figured out that it wasn't normal for, <laughs> you know, your normal teacher and kid relationship also my brother's in the background don't worry about him but that's literally like any sound that you hear that's my brother unless you hear my unless you hear my lisp oh my god um but anyways uh it wasn't normal and i found that out pretty you know late in the year and i'm like I kind of, like, ask my mom, like, or I kind of bring it up to my mom. And I'm like, hey, mom, uh, this teacher has been really, like, he's been treating me weirdly. And she's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, yeah, no, this guy would be, like, all touchy towards me. And she's like, oh, well, what's, what's, what do you mean? And I'm like, yeah, no, it's my history teacher. And she's like, history teacher? Your history teacher is being inappropriate with you. And I'm kind of like, yeah, is that normal? And then she's like, hell no, sweetie, hell no. Uh, What is he doing to you? And I'm like, oh, he'll be like, he'll touch me weirdly. And I'm the only one that he would touch, really. Like, literally, he wouldn't be rubbing anybody else's shoulders. In fact, he would, like, do what the normal teacher stands and, like, only touch the desk. And that, for me, he would just touch my shoulders. And hell, sometimes he will get way too close to my boobs. Oh, my gosh. But, because, like, when I was... Okay, let me just explain this. I hit puberty when I was around nine, okay? So, I started 
getting like my period my breast getting taller all that so when i was in sixth grade i had uh shoulder boulders <laughs> so i i had those at the time this guy would get way too close to them fuck no so i explained that to my mom and she's like oh yeah i'm gonna report that to the um the principal how long has this been happening and i'm like um for a good few months and she's like a few months why didn't you tell me earlier because i didn't know that it wasn't normal and she's like oh um oh my gosh you should have told me earlier and i'm like oh i'm sorry i'm sorry mom so we basically started talking to the principal and all this and his principal's like yeah i'll talk to him about it yeah i'll do it and then we go back to school continues to do it as if nothing happened so we report i go up to her desk and i'm like hey this teacher is being inappropriate with me is that normal or like of course it's not normal oh my fucking god <laughs> i'm just like hey this teacher is being really inappropriate with me and he's touching me really weirdly can't talk to him and she's like oh it like looks me up and down and she's like it might be the way that you're dressed. And I'm like, the way I'm dressed? What, do, what does that have to do with anything? And she's like, well, I've seen you always wearing skirts and all this. So I'm assuming that's kind of your fault. And I'm like, how is it fucking my fault, lady? Of course, I didn't say that word. And she just kind of, in fact, I didn't say anything at all. I kind of just let her talk to me like that. And she's like, yeah, no, I'll talk to him later. And all this so i'm just like okay well please talk to him next day stay to the exact same too and this is like fucking what a week before spring break and in my schools we have summer or spring break and my mom was like okay we reported two times and she refuses to anything we're gonna move you to a different school and then we moved to my old school now because I kind of, like, I already passed that school, okay? But I'm not going to get too deep into that information. But we got into my old school, which was a K-8 through school. And nothing bad happened there. No pedophilia. Actually, hold on. Okay, maybe some, but that's for another t- story. Okay, bye-bye.